What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today we are gonna be making pesto prosciutto pizza. This is going to be amazing. So just like our pepperoni pizzas that we made a while back, we are gonna use the same pita crust. We'll get it nice and crispy. In the future, we're gonna get some homemade crust uh, and homemade dough and make pizzas out of, but we absolutely love using the pitas from Costco. So that's what we're gonna use for the crust. You're gonna put it on a large baking sheet, put parchment paper underneath. So what you need, the ingredients for this pizza, are some basil pesto. Now it's best if you get homemade or just make it yourself if you have a lot of basil and you have the ingredients at home. Make it yourself, you could also go to a deli and most delis do have fresh pesto made there. Ours didn't, so that's why we got this little jar here. You are going to need prosciutto. This is the prosciutto that we bought because it is a really good quality prosciutto. For the cheese, I'm gonna probably mispronounce it, bocahini. Uh, this is basically small, soft cheese. It's almost like mozzarella. Now, if you can't find these in your area, we might've bought too much because we bought two different containers of it. But if you can't get it in your area, because sometimes it's hard to find at grocery stores, you can substitute it with fresh mozzarella. Basically, whenever you have the ball, you just slice it up and you'll put it on the pizza. You also will want some Parmesan cheese or some firm aged cheese to shred over top of the pizza. So let's get started here. So the first step for this pizza is to put the pesto on top. So unlike regular tomato sauce, you're gonna put a thin layer of this on. I know in the last video with the pepperoni, I put a thick layer of tomato sauce. You don't really want that or need it with the pesto, just a thin layer, layer of the pesto sauce on your crust. Once you have your pesto spread onto your crust in a nice even layer, the next step is to put your broccini or mozzarella cheese on it. It's basically gonna be these little balls, so you're just gonna place it all over the pizzas. So there we have our bocahini cheese on the pizza. So the small container was these large balls, which you could cut in half and make it work. I'm glad we bought the second container, which is these mini ones as well, just for more cheese. The next step is going to be shredding a little bit of your firm aged Parmesan cheese onto it. That'll give it a nice sharp taste. So now after you shred a little bit of the uh, Parmesan on, you're going to want to put your prosciutto. You're not gonna put the full slices on, you're gonna rip it up into smaller pieces. You're gonna put your prosciutto on kind of in chunks and little pieces like this. Putting it on top like this is going to make it get a little crispy while it's in the oven. Also, I know people are gonna comment saying, that's not enough cheese. This cheese is gonna melt and spread, and trust me, it's enough cheese. This is going to be delicious. So now the last step is obviously to put it in the oven. You're gonna cook it for 10 to 15 minutes until you see the cheese start melting and everything's gonna get a little crispy and you're gonna cook it at 400 degrees. Now, after the pizza is completely cooked, all you're gonna have to do, optional of course, but it shred a little bit more on top of your pizza before you eat it and then enjoy. This is going to be amazing and I'll show you after it's done cooking. 